Listen to this. Some of the popes. Pope John the Twenty Third. He gave a prayer to the whole of the Catholic Church to be prayed. Okay, the big council of bishops in the sixties, and it, the first line of that prayer was this: "Divine Spirit." Now, all the Catholics had to pray this. Divine Spirit, renew your wonders in this our day as by a new Pentecost. Now, that could have been written by Reinhard Bonker, couldn't it? You know, that's a pre-Pentecostal prayer. Pope Paul VI, the Pope that came after him. We cannot but desire that these gifts come, and may God grant it with abundance. Besides grace, let God's church be able to obtain and possess the charisms. God grant that the Lord will still increase this reign of charisms to make the church fruitful, beautiful, marvellous, and capable of inspiring respect, even the attention and amazement of the profane world. It's the Pope in the 70s. Pope John Paul II, Billy Graham, thought that John Paul II was the greatest evangelist of modern times. I mean, him or Bonker, I think it's the way out of the two, really. But... He said this, I want to cry out! It's like Jesus, you know, in the sermon, you know, solemnly, solemnly. If you fell asleep in the rest of the talk, don't miss this bit. I want to cry out, be open and docile to the gifts of the Spirit, accept with gratitude and obedience the charisms that the Spirit never ceases to bestow. Pope Benedict XVI. Pope Benedict XVI. Let us pray to God the Father, therefore, through our Lord Jesus Christ, in the grace of the Holy Spirit, so that the celebration of the solemnity of Pentecost may be like an ardent flame, a blustering wind for the Christian life and for the mission of the whole church. Upon all of you I invoke... He's praying over a massive crowd of about half a million people in St. Peter's Square. Upon all of you I invoke an outpouring of the gifts of the Holy Spirit, so that in our time too we may have the experience of a renewed Pentecost. I hope that the Holy Spirit will be ever more welcome in the hearts of believers, and that the culture of Pentecost which is so necessary in our day, might continue to spread. 